Well, uh, just very briefly, got some news. Well, got some news. It's all over, I guess. Uh, Melvin Van Peebles noted a uh, filmmaker, author. I know him actually more as a theater kind of thing, whatever it is. Um, did a lot of stuff. Did a lot of stuff in his life. And of course, in fact, uh, I didn't I didn't know this though, but I was looking at his uh, filmography, filmography, you know, like that, stuff he's done. And I didn't realize it, but uh, I first ran to Mel Van to Melvin Van People's doing from uh, Sweet Sweetback's Badass Song. Great film. I mean, well, it's actually not a very good film. But it's a great film. I don't know how you can square that, but I'm just trying to tell you, it's not a very good film, but it's a great film. In fact, I saw it in uh, 1971, um, and uh, when I when it first came out, in fact, I had my son with me. He was just born, so he was in the his first. <laughs> you probably don't know this, but his first experience is actually uh, watching. I guess while well, sleeping or chilling, because he was always a chill kid. Uh, Sweet Sweet Back's Bad Ass Song. Uh, took him to the movies. Uh, anyway, um, um, so that's. But what I didn't know is that Watermelon Man came out was this is of course his release date is, is before Sweep Sweep Back like by a year, maybe six months or something like that. Kind of interesting. I didn't know that. I really love Watermelon. Watermelon Man is a great film though. That's a great film. But what I know, like I said, it's gonna be very briefly. Uh, uh, I guess I better go to the regular thing and just tell you. Well, you know, look, everybody else will tell you about the thing. You know, he's, he's basically died at 89. Lived a long life, very good, hey. Um, and um, he was born in Chicago, Chicago native. Um, you know, and it, I know also he was in the Air Force. Uh, and, and in fact, the film that I really ne ne never seen, I guess I have to catch up this story. His first film, short film, is uh, A Story of the, of the Three Day Pass. Uh, but like, let me go and say what I know. I know him actually more from theater. I know film, yeah, I'm, I'm a cinephile, I mean, you know, I, whatever. But, but uh, for instance, I saw uh, uh, Ain't Supposed to Die a Natural Death, uh, I guess it was, it's a Broadway play. A uh, couple more plays I saw, saw from uh, Melvin Van Peebles. So I appreciate him as a, as a playwright uh, like that. But the thing that, one of the things, I, I, in fact, this must have been in the early 80s, whenever it was, I went on a Melvin Van Peebles tear. I mean, I Read all read a bunch of stuff, saw the film, saw a bunch of films. Uh, but one of the things he did, he wrote a book. Uh, this was I'm trying to, a book is called. Um, let me look right here. Uh, Bo Money: How to Get Rich. Let me hit, hit this thing. Uh, Bo Money. Uh, Bo Money: How to Get Rich in the Options in the Options Market. It's a paperback. Uh, uh, and that's when I learned about puts. And stuff like that. So I have this weird relationship with money. I, I'm not a money person, but I've been I I monitor I've been monitoring the Wall Street the, the whole kind of thing. And this one the puts you know making a lot of money. Uh, it's, 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 everything is a scam. Everything is a scheme. Everything is a Ponzi scheme in, in the financial world. But we won't get into that right now. But I learned a lot from that book. I can't remember all the stuff I learned, but I learned a lot from that book. So I appreciate Mel that people's for uh, for doing that. And in fact, that shows the scope. I mean, you know. I mean, he's, he's doing he's doing the money thing. I guess everybody should do the money thing. He does the film thing. He does the play thing. He does the writing thing. You know, in fact, he's got this um, thing that I just saw. Uh, what did it say? It. Um, I'm gonna have to check it out. Uh, Panther, a novel. Of course, of course, as you know, um, uh, the relationship with the Panther. How kind of interesting. Uh, uh, he. Uh, one of the things that got well, the big thing that got Melvin Van Peebles over is for as far as. Um, uh, sweet sweetback is that um, the uh, the Black Panthers they they wrote this whole I mean I read the critique to I remember the first yeah the Panther Party paper um, uh, this whole critique of Sweet Sweetback as as it was a revolutionary film and it's they 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 made all of the members every, if you was a Black Panther you had to go see this film. That was one of the things. It was really interesting. But analysis, and he got this whole scene in there. So I said, you know, where the guy is sitting on a toilet, right? So he's, 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 he's you know, doing a bowel movement. Uh, uh, I assume urinating at the same time, but also uh, blowing his nose and talking and talking stuff, you know, in, in his mouth. It's, it, it was a brilliant kind of analysis that the Panthers did. But because of that, the, the, that's how that's how Melvin really hit. And because it has this thing with the not thing, thing with the Panthers, but also appreciates because when when uh when Mario, his son, his older son who was in Sweetback, 
he's the one that was who was boinking the prostitute in the beginning of the film. Just to let you know, I'm not going to make any comment on that. Um, uh, 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 but uh, uh, because of that, he, he he felt some sort of way about the Panthers that he owed them because you know when I say owed them, you understand, you understand what I'm saying. So so uh, so so when he, when uh, Mario made the film about the about the Panthers, that was that was one of the homages, and I guess that he did he did a novel. So maybe I'll be able to read that one of these days. I'll see what happens. So I'm backed up in all my reading. Okay, so just want to note the passing of uh, Melvin Van Peebles. He's born in that, it was some sort of weird, not weird, but there's some sort of, uh, I don't want to say sweet spot. There was some, some sort of uh, uh, spot. Uh, I think that people was born somewhere, I say anywhere between uh, 1925 and 1935. Maybe be around that era. Like those people born in that era, there, there's some extraordinary people born in that era. I mean, really, everybody from, you know, Malcolm X and Martin Luther King, you know, the Melvin people, you know, um, uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, the, our Nobel Prize winning, you know, uh, Tony Morrison, bunch of people, heavy do my bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of people were born in that era. They did a whole lot of stuff in their life. So it was like a interesting era, you know? So he was born in 1932. So he's in that, in that, and that, and that kind of thing. Anyway, so that's it. Just wanted to bring that to your attention. The uh, the passing of uh, Milf Van Peebles um, noted uh, uh, the passing of any artist, but someone who has a scope and whatever have you, just having in conversation would be really, really good. I, I suppose there'd be a lot of stuff uh, coming out, so uh, I'll pay attention. That's it for me. T, from the Pattersons, take the train to the bed, letting you know what I only suspect.